Hi, and welcome back to BCBA Mock Exam. Come, in this video, we will be delving into Section B11 of the 5th edition of the BCBA Task List, which focuses on defining and providing examples of discrimination, generalization, and maintenance. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. Let's define discrimination. Discrimination refers to the ability to distinguish between two or more stimuli based on specific characteristics. It involves recognizing differences in stimuli and responding differently to them. Discrimination can also involve reinforcing a behavior when a specific stimulus is present, while not reinforcing the same behavior in the presence of another stimulus. Let's delve into discrimination using the training scenario Give Me Ball to illustrate the concept. In the presence of one stimulus condition, the command give me ball while not performing the same behavior in the presence of another stimulus condition different items. Here's how it works using the different scenarios. In this initial stage, the dog is introduced to the command give me ball and learns to associate it with the action of bringing a ball. When presented with only a ball and given the command, the dog is reinforced rewarded for bringing the ball. This reinforces the connection between the command and the behavior. Then, the challenge is to ensure that the dog responds correctly only to the command give me ball and not to other items. If the dog brings the ball upon hearing the command, it is reinforced. However, if the dog brings a shoe instead, no reinforcement is given. This helps the dog learn that the command specifically pertains to the ball and not other items. To further solidify discrimination, additional items are introduced. The dog is still expected to bring the ball upon hearing the command. If it does so correctly, it receives reinforcement. If it brings one of the non-preferred items, there's no reinforcement. In the advanced stage, the dog's ability to discriminate is put to the test. The dog is presented with unknown items alongside the ball. If the dog correctly responds by bringing the ball, it is reinforced. This demonstrates the dog's ability to generalize the discrimination concept even when faced with unfamiliar stimuli. Throughout these scenarios, the dog is learning to differentiate between the specific stimulus condition of the command give me ball and the presence of other stimuli. It reinforces the behavior bringing the ball only in the appropriate stimulus condition, showcasing discrimination skills by responding to the correct cues and ignoring irrelevant ones. Let's move on to define generalization then. Generalization involves the process of transferring learned skills or concepts from one context to various similar contexts within the natural environment. It encompasses both stimulus generalization and response generalization. Stimulus generalization occurs when a learned response is triggered by stimuli that share similarities with the original stimulus. For example, a child who screams upon seeing a white rat might also scream when encountering stuffed animals, showcasing stimulus generalization. Response generalization, on the other hand, involves exhibiting a range of responses that are similar to the learned response. For instance, greeting a friend with hi, what's up, or a wave are examples of response generalization. To illustrate, let's consider the scenario of teaching the word car using various pictures of different cars. Two people, Alex and Taylor, are teaching the same skill to different groups of learners. Alex shows pictures of different types of cars, from sedans to trucks, and associates the word car with each image. As the learners become familiar with the concept, they start recognizing various cars outside the learning environment and correctly label them as car. In this case, stimulus generalization occurs as the learners generalize the concept of car to various real-world car examples. Similarly, Taylor employs a slightly different approach. Taylor introduces the word car in connection with pictures of cars of different colors and sizes. As the learners grasp the concept, they not only identify cars but also generate sentences using the word car to describe other vehicles like buses and bicycles. This showcases response generalization, where the learners extend the usage of the learned word to similar contexts. Finally, let's pay attention to maintenance. Maintenance refers to the ability to uphold and retain previously acquired knowledge, skills, or behaviors over time. This concept involves the sustained preservation of what has been learned and is characterized by the continued demonstration of those learned items or abilities even after the initial learning period. For example, consider the scenario of teaching a child a specific mathematical concept through discrete trials. Initially, the child might engage in a series of discrete trials where they solve mathematical problems with random numbers. Over time, as the child repeatedly practices these trials, they develop the ability to solve similar mathematical problems with ease and accuracy. 
This showcases maintenance, as the child has effectively maintained the previously learned mathematical skills and can apply them even when faced with different variations of the problems, whether through random rotation or extended trials. To sum up, discrimination is reinforcing occurrences of behavior in the presence of one stimulus condition and not in the presence of another stimulus condition. Generalization is teaching learned targets in the natural environment, and maintenance refers to maintaining previously learned items or skills. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.